All right, what's up guys? You're looking very good today. Sean here and in this video, I want to show you like what to do before you start any business, okay? Um, so I was looking on like Facebook and I'm on Facebook a lot. So I saw this post from one of my friends on an entrepreneurial group. So this is what he's saying, okay? Um, After an attempt to work in the local film industry at this unfortunate time as a screenwriter, storyboard artist, this pandemic stops me from pursuing my endeavors full time. However, I also have a deeper passion to be an entrepreneur, which is okay, great, great. And coincidentally, my father in law is opening a new delicatess, I don't know how to read that, okay, in Malacca, and offered me to manage it. I need advice on how to run this business, especially on marketing, for example, what courses that work for you guys, etc. Mentors would be appreciated, preferably with similar business. Thanks in advance. So anyway, this video is a direct response to my friend's post on Facebook. If you're new to the channel or new to the page, just give this, uh, give a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let us begin. And yeah, before I go into the main topic, right, I just want to let you know, uh, last time I was selling phone cases and you know, one of the mistakes I made was I expect everyone to buy the phone cases that I was having, okay? And every time I would expect that and when they didn't buy, then I would get very angry, I would be frustrated, I would hate them. I, I would literally like hate my prospects because they didn't buy from me. This is after, then after that, right, one of my friends told me that, hey, you know what, not everybody is into your stuff, okay? There will be people who buy, there will be people who don't. So that time we were having um, Bakute, all right? So he just said, look at this Bakute uh, store, okay? Everyone is walking past, the store owner is not sitting outside forcing everyone to come in and eat the Bakute, right? So no matter what business you do, right, there will be a segment of people who get from you. There will be a segment of people who will not get from you as well. So now, before we start, it is important to know who to look for, okay? Who are you targeting? Who is your perfect customer, okay? And this exercise, which I'm going to just go through very quickly with you, is very important, especially if you are starting your own business, okay? Uh, so like last time we were in e-commerce, okay, last time I was selling phone cases, but right now I am in education, in network marketing, and I'm applying the same principle to my business also, okay? So by applying this principle, which I will be talking to you in a bit, we saw that our customers increase, you know, the people who were uh, starting their business together with us also increase, okay? So you guys ready? If you're ready, just like take a notebook, take a notebook, take a pencil or something and start noting down these questions, okay? Alright, so right now we are going to go through your perfect customer, okay? So I want you to imagine who is your perfect customer and now we're going to, now I'm going to go through a few questions together with you so that you can, you know, work it out. Just take some time, you want to take about an hour just to go through this exercise and yeah, I know it's an hour but if you manage to do this right, you can do a lot. Your business will be, you know, you will do very well in your business, okay? So I'm going to go through eight questions, okay, I want you to write this down and then uh, after this video, just go work it out and then you kind of know exactly what you need to do already, alright? Okay, all this is for your perfect customer, alright? No matter what industry you're in, maybe you're in like a food or you're in health, you're in property or you're in insurance, you're in education, whichever it is, okay, it will apply. So like for you, you can find your perfect customer. The same questions will also be, let's say if you're in network marketing like me, your perfect uh, partner, okay, your perfect distributor, okay. So this is this is what we apply, okay. So here are eight questions. The first one is how old is your perfect customer, okay? How old are they? Are they um, thirty to forty? Are they fifty to sixty? Are they maybe you know six to seven years old? I don't know. All right. So it depends. You need to have an age range. Please do not do not do. Oh, my perfect customer is ten years old to sixty years old. It doesn't work that way, okay. Be be, be as specific as you can, like maybe like a 5 year gap will be fine, 30 to, uh, 30 to 35, um, 25 to 30, you know, around there lah, okay? Don't, don't do that, I want everybody because if you do everybody, if you target everybody, you're not gonna get anyone, alright? <laughs> okay, so that's question number one, how old are they? Question number two, what do they do? Are they, are they still studying? Are they not studying? Are they still working? If they are working, what do they do? Are they working from home? Are they working outside in the side? You know what I mean? Uh, are they on the road all the time? So what do they do? What is your perfect customer doing for a living? Okay, this is question number two. Question number three is do they have kids or any pets? 
but what you know you you would want to do that and maybe you're thinking you to yourself um if my if my business uh doesn't involve kids or pets then doesn't matter all right but this is one of the things because maybe your business is a yeah, like dog training okay like one of my friends she's a dog trainer so if her perfect customer has pets then this is one of the questions you might want to answer as well so question number three is does your perfect customer have kids or pets okay question number four what are their worries okay what is their worries you know what um, okay like for example uh, like your like my friend okay he wants to open a, a restaurant okay delicatessen i think it's restaurant okay let's say if you want to open a food like a maybe like a fast food what are the worries of his perfect customer i want fast okay i don't want to waste time so 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 this is one of the things that you want to design your marketing around okay so what are your the your perfect customers worries Number five, when it comes to your um, industry, okay, when it comes to your industry, what is important? Um, let's say if in insurance, what is important? If it's in beauty or property or health or education, what is important to your perfect customer? Or like for example, like us in network marketing for our distributors, for our partners, what is important? They want it fast, they want it easy, they want it quickly. That's why we have, uh, we have business automations, we have digital like tools for them to do it quickly especially right now okay so these are things that we design our our systems to suit our perfect customer you got it okay okay um next question where are they online now this one very important because um we are all basically online right now okay some of us we are on facebook i am on facebook okay some of us are on instagram some are twitter some are spending their time on snapchat on blog where is your perfect customer spending their time online this is where you want to be okay so where are they it will depend my my perfect customer is in a different place than your perfect customer your perfect customer will be in a different place compared to other people all right so this one is very important uh, in fact everything i'm telling you is important so please take note and question number seven what do they buy do they buy do they buy courses or do they buy shirt baju i don't know okay you need to do your research right do your research what do they buy so when you know like okay this is what the this is are the kind of things that they buy then you can offer something similar as well okay and finally the last question this one is the biggest one that you want to take note on question number eight what are their struggles what are they struggling with what is their biggest challenge it uh, involved with your industry lah okay what is the biggest challenge okay so once you have once you have all these questions answered what is the next thing that you need to do okay now that you know okay this is my perfect customer this is all their all their background what they have in mind what do they want okay what are their worries the next thing you want to do give this perfect customer or perfect you know if you're a network marketing perfect partner a name okay a name up to you lah what name you want okay you want to name sean do it also can okay uh sean do it s-e-a-n-l-o-o-i also can all right who knows uh maybe i can be a customer okay anyway just just uh, joking so give a uh give your perfect customer a name and a picture make sure to put picture huh? so from this time forward every time you are doing your promotion every time you're doing your marketing you're doing your whatever like your publishing you ask yourself does your okay like does your perfect customer like it okay like for example if your perfect customer is sean louis does sean like it do you think sean will like this do you think sean will find this useful do you think sean will uh buy so these are questions that you will ask yourself okay ask yourself this during the the promotion uh design during the marketing uh, design okay so i think this pretty much it so whatever business really really it applies to every business this is basic uh, marketing basics uh, okay uh, because one of the one of the problems i see too many people do is they try to get everyone they try to sell to everyone they try to market to everyone and the moment you do that you don't get anyone okay so be very clear on who you're talking to who you're marketing to and the market is very huge okay just even even if you're getting like one percent of the market you'll be uh, you'll be a million l already okay so um so if you're here you're an entrepreneur all the best okay i know i know entrepreneur uh, being an entrepreneur is uh, tough it takes courage but just hang in there okay you hang in there just go through the tough spots you, you need to break through on a lot of things okay there will be a lot of things that you need to learn like you know that's like 
for me also so many things that I need to learn and break through again okay but that's where the reward comes in lah okay it is going to be worth okay man so if you find this video useful just let me know okay and if you know someone who will find this you know useful just share it to share it to them maybe it might help them out as well so if you like what I have follow me on Facebook uh, subscribe on YouTube and I'll see you in the next video okay bye bye